you could be asked to divide polynomial by monomial, or they might simply say perform each division. The polynomial is what's written in the numerator. The monomial is what we have here in the denominator. Because the fraction bar is also a grouping symbol, this 6x squared applies to each term in the numerator. So if you're going to perform each division, I suggest rewriting the numerator. and putting the 6x squared in each denominator. Now you simplify each of these three fractions. I first introduced this in the video Fractions Simplify. I explained in some detail how you simplify fractions like this or this. So if you want a more thorough explanation, please refer back to that video. But basically, we'll divide by 6, divide by 6, and for the x's, cross out x squared, subtract 2 from 5. For the next fraction, divide by 6, divide by 6. For the x's, cross out x squared, subtract 2, divide by 6, divide by 6. These x's, essentially I say they cancel out. You divide by x squared, you get a 1. Divide by x squared, you get a 1. But normally you don't have to write it as long as there's something else in the numerator. So now we'll just see what's left standing. We have 4x to the third. positive, 2x to the first, we don't have to write the 1, negative, 3, there's no x's, so just negative 3. So this is a fairly typical example. Over here we have another typical example. I'll rewrite the numerator, and I keep the signs up with the numerator. Put 4y in each denominator, and now simplify each fraction. Divide by 4, divide by 4, and for the y's, cross out y to the first, subtract 1, divide by 4, divide by 4. For the y's, cross out y to the first, subtract 1 and 4y cancels out 4y. This doesn't go away. You divide by 4y, you divide by 4y, you get a 1 over a 1, so it's going to be minus 1 at the end here. So now we'll see what's left standing. We have negative 7y to the third, positive 3y to the first, and again, this is a negative 1. Looking at this example, I'll rewrite the numerator. And then put negative 6x in each denominator. I think this helps you see why it's good to have these signs up with the numerator because this negative sits in each fraction in the denominator. And then we'll simply have to say positive divided by negative gives us a negative. Over here we'll have negative divided by negative so this will become positive. But I'll worry about that when I get to it. For now, divide by 6, divide by 6. For the x's, cross that out, subtract 1, divide by 6, divide by 6, cross that out, subtract 1, 
divide by 6, divide by 6, cross that out, subtract 1. Oh, I can't cancel out the 6 at all, but the x's do cancel. Now in this case, I can't leave air in the numerator, so with my answer, I'm going to have to put a 1 here. All right, so we have positive divided by a negative. This is going to be a negative 2x to the 7th. positive divided by a negative, negative, 5x to the fourth, negative divided by negative, 3x squared, positive divided by negative, and again I need my 1 in the numerator, and I have a 6 in the denominator. Looking over here, there's only two terms in the numerator. Ten P is in each denominator. So here we can divide by five, divide by five, and we can cross out P, subtract one. And with a 10 and 17, there are no common factors. We cannot simplify them at all. But we can cross out P, subtract 1. So we have 7P to the third over 2. Positive. 17P squared over 10. With our last two examples on this page, we just have a 7 and then an x in the denominators. Rewriting the numerator. Divide by 7, divide by 7. The x, no way to simplify. Divide by 7, divide by 7. Divide by 7, divide by 7, basically you get a 1. So what's left standing? 5x squared, negative 3x, and again you have to put a negative 1 here. We'll rewrite our numerator. Put our x in each denominator and simplify each fraction. No way to simplify the 30, but I can cancel out x, subtract 1, cancel out x, cancel out x, and here we can't simplify anything at all. So we're left with 30x, negative 20, positive. 2 over x. I'll go over an example that's a little more complicated. Then you might want to pause the video and try each of these three problems on your own. And then you could check your answers against mine. First I'll rewrite the numerator and put 4q squared r in each denominator. Divide by 4, divide by 4. Cross out q squared, subtract 2. Cross out the r, subtract 1. Moving to the next fraction. Divide by 4, divide by 4. Cross out q squared, subtract 2, and the r's cancel. Divide by 4, divide by 4. The q squareds cancel, and the r's cancel as well. Divide by 4, divide by 4. 
Here, uh, the Q in the numerator cancels out if we subtract 1 from the 2 for the Q squared. So this becomes Q to the first in the denominator. And the R's cancel out. So let's see what's left standing. Um, 3Q to the 6, R to the 4th. negative 5q positive 6 that's it for that fraction no longer really a fraction and negative 2 over q Again, if you want to pause the video, I'm about to solve the next three. Looking at number one, rewrite the numerator. Put 8k to the third in each denominator. Divide by 8, divide by 8. Cross out k to the third subtract 3. Uh, here 8 goes into 72 as well. Divide by 8, divide by 8. And here we can cancel out k squared if we subtract 2 from the 3. Um, here 4 is the largest we can divide out. So divide by 4, divide by 4, and we can cross out k if we subtract 1. We'll be left with a k squared in the denominator. So what's left standing? 4k positive uh, 9 over k uh, negative 3 over 2k squared. Looking at number 2, we'll rewrite the numerator. Put negative 3x squared in each denominator. And then simplify each fraction. Divide by 3, divide by 3. Cancel out x squared, subtract 2. Divide by 3, divide by 3. Cancel out x squared, subtract 2, and divide by 3, divide by 3, cancel out x squared, subtract 2. So what's left standing? We have a negative 8, because that's positive divided by a negative, so it's a negative 8x to the 5th. Here's a negative divided by a negative. Uh, 6x to the third. And here we have positive divided by a negative. 2x. And number three. We'll rewrite our numerator. Put 2x in each denominator and simplify each fraction. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Cancel out the x, subtract 1. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Cancel out the x, subtract 1. Dividing by 2's. Cancel out the x, subtract 1. I can't cancel out this 2 at all but I can cancel out the x's. So what's left standing? We have 5x to the 9th, negative 3x to the 4th, positive 4x squared, and this is a negative, uh, has to be a 1, you can't leave air in the numerator over 2. If you would like some practice with these concepts, 
long as you're at my website, you can download a worksheet along with a detailed answer key.